I'd like to call the 18th regular meeting of the 2016-2017 Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day. Thank you, Mayor. The holiday season is a perfect time to reflect on our blessings and seek out ways to make life better for those around us. Thank you very much. Please take the roll for the evening. Uh, there are 13 present. Okay, Alder Person Holshue, Lewandowski, and Bitters are all excused. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is approval of our minutes from the last council meeting. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those uh, uh, please uh, to, to approve, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. Next, we're going to move on to some holiday tunes by local uh, guitarist Jim Olschmidt. Jim, a pleasure to have you today. Please proceed.
your spirits bright. What fun it is to write and sing a slave song tonight. Jim, thank you very much for bringing the Christmas spirit to our meeting tonight. Appreciate it. Next, we'll move on to the agenda. 5.1 is resignations. There's none today. And uh, the mayor's appointments. 
City Attorney. There is one appointment. Uh, the mayor is submitting the following appointment for your confirmation. Grazia Perella to be considered for appointment to the mayor's international committee with a term to expire on April 27, 2017. That'll be, uh, we'll lie over till our next meeting. Next, we're going to have a presentation, a year in review by the, uh, on the Harbor Center Marina Operations by Manager Matt Bauer. Good evening. For those who don't know me, Matt Bauer, the general manager for Harbor Center Marina. I'm um, here to talk to you tonight, just kind of highlight uh, and review our season for 2016, um, review some of the successes we had, the improvements we made, and give you kind of a preview for 2017 as well. Um, to start, financial performance is obviously the most key measure of any kind of business there. And we'll start with uh, revenue. Each of you were handed the uh, projections for 2016. <coughs> We have the fortune in this business here where things get kind of quiet this year, so we have a pretty good idea where exactly we're going to end for the year. Starting off with revenue then, we saw gross revenue go up $68,000 over last year. One of the biggest components of that jump in slips, we saw $36,000 additional dollars in slip revenue. In terms of occupancy, we were at 161 last year, and this year we reached 182 occupied slips. So a good jump in occupancy this year. Um, in terms of our revenue centers there, we have a lot of other things that help create revenue for the marina as well. Um, fuel sales this year, our fuel dock did extremely well. Uh, we sold an additional 20,000 gallons over 2015. Um, might not look much in terms of revenue. Well, gas prices is significantly down this year, but that was an additional $22,000 in fuel dock revenue as well. Our ship store also saw significant growth. We saw a 30% increase in revenue in the ship store, which came out to $12,000. Offered some new products, uh, changed some layout a little bit there, and those all kind of came together to help drive ship store revenue. Uh, lastly, the launch ramp there. I can't take too much credit for that. A lot of that is um, driven off of fishing conditions, weather. Um, but we saw a great increase in that as well this year. Uh, we were up 38% over last year. So that definitely helped as well. Now, revenue is only half the battle there. As long as we control our expenses, that's definitely a huge part of it as well. In terms of the expenses there, cost of goods sold stayed within $50 of budget for 2016. In terms of operating expenses, we saw a slight uptick to tackle some major maintenance issues that we wanted to handle in 2016. Coming down to the bottom line there, we were projected to have a net profit of $102,000 this year. That's $17,000 above last year and $10,000 above the 2016 budget for net profit. <clears throat> Now, financial performance is, is one thing there, but how do we, how do we achieve that and what, what makes people want to spend their money with us there is um, just as important. Uh, and first off, I'd like to start off with, you know, customers. Uh, while that might seem like the, the obvious choice there to say, um, if we don't put that as a forethought of everything we do every day, uh, it's easy to get put away in our daily grind. An important tool that we use to measure um, the satisfaction of our customers are our annual surveys. Each of you are given a copy of our 2016 surveys this year. Um, they serve multiple purposes for us there. We get valuable feedback and ideas on improvements we can make for next year, um, how boaters felt we did this year, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great tool for us there. This year, uh, overall satisfaction rating was 94%. Um, about on par with last year's, up slightly, 92 was last year's um, satisfaction right there. Um, another key component there is um, the city of Sheboygan there. Uh, it's our greatest asset there. It's right in, right in our backyard, and we, we take full advantage of it at the marina there. Um, we do our best to work with the Sheboygan Square bid district to integrate with local businesses and restaurants. Um, 
and creates uh, the community for the voters there so they know what they're, what's available for them in the community. Uh, a couple of ways that we do that is for, for transit voters, we provide welcome packets, and those have area bid maps, um, direct them to local businesses and restaurants, and offer coupons as well. Uh, and we do events such as the, our open house, which brings down local businesses for, for one afternoon. Um, voters can walk around, we do some food for them, and they can get a taste of what is available in Sheboygan for their season there. Um, a big part of that as well is we try to create a sense of community at the marina as well. Um, and we do the biggest way we do that there is we create um, events that help drive that there. A couple of um, events that we tried this year were trivia night, we did a wine tasting, uh, live music <coughs> in the pool. Um, might seem like simple ideas there, but the whole main theme, common theme there is to get people connect. And when we get people to connect and build that sense of community, uh, it only helps us drive retention. Um, and once again, this was one of the ideas that came from our voter surveys there. Last year, um, we had noted that voters said they were about 85% satisfied with the events that we offered. We took that to heart. Um, and on the surveys this year, uh, we got 96% in the events area then. Now lastly, um, not necessarily the most glamorous part of the job is um, the dock system and upkeeping that. Um, if we don't provide a good product for boaters, we, we don't really have much to sell in the first place. Um, one area that you guys might be very familiar with is our aeration project. A quick recap on that is uh, last year, JJR Smith Group made the recommendation um, to place aerators in the marina to help mitigate the dock damage over winter. Just a quick update as to where that is, where that is. For this year then, uh, early November all the aerators were put in place, uh, they were since tested, and um, we saw our first ice start forming in early December. Uh, they were turned on and have been running ever since. Um, so far, so good to say with that there. The true test is obviously going to be how the docks look like in spring, um, but we're hoping for the best right now and I hope to come before you next year with, with good news on that. Another maintenance area that might not be as known there is um, slippery skinning there. Um, might be a little bit more of an industry term there, but the bottom of the slips are coated in a galvanized steel plating there. And this um, can cut, wear off over time and get pulled back, especially with our dock damage that we received in the prior years. Um, we've been noted quite a few slips in the marina that were in need of this. It causes a very big unstability in the slip and can be a big hazard to boaters. Um, so this year, working within the maintenance budget, um, we were able to knock out seven of those slips that were in need. Um, it costs roughly around $5,000 a slip, so it's a relatively big expense. Um, so something that would have normally cost or required additional funding, uh, we were able to work within our budget to uh, repair and maintain. So what do we get to look forward to next year then? Um, every, every season we uh, we end with a campaign to get renewals there. Uh, our goal every year is to build occupancy and grow our, our boarding community. So we end with a, a chance to get boarders renewed for the next year then. In 2015, we conducted a similar campaign. Uh, we ended with 101 renewals. Um, this year, our campaign ended us with 132 renewals. So we were up 31 renewals over last year then. Um, we plan to keep continuing to do, you know, putting the customer first, integrating with our city, uh, and maintaining the dock system in a safe and well-kept manner then. Uh, that's what I had for you for 2016. Is there any questions? Any questions for Matt? <clears throat> well, Matt, thank you very much for your report, and we appreciate the great job you're doing down there managing the marina for us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Is there anything for public forum? No, not this evening. Okay, we'll go on to mayor's announcements. First of all, I want to give a little update on the uh, storm totals for this last storm. The Department of Public Works had 16 pieces of equipment that worked this weekend and into Monday morning uh, during the snow event. There were 35 DPW plow drivers that drove a combined total of 4,332 miles. If you 
and the distance from New York to Los Angeles is 2,780 mine, uh, mine miles, so that's quite a ways. 35 DPW plow drivers operated e equipment for a combined 379 hours, and the plow drivers spread 316 tons of salt during their operation. Uh, the Department of Public Works began posting updates on their plowing operations in the city's social network using Nextdoor, Twitter, and the city website to keep residents informed. And we got a lot of positive comments and a few uh, things that we wanted to point out that they should clean up. So it was a great operation. I want to thank Jason uh, Bastolia, the superintendent of streets and sanitation, and all of his staff for all the work they did to clear the streets so we could get to our destinations. And uh, this being our last meeting before Christmas, I want to wish everyone here and at home a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'd like to remind um, that you that some of our Christmas events to support the needy are falling a little short of their goals for this year. The Salvation Army declared a state of emergency last week. Their Christmas goal is uh, 525000 and they still have almost half of that goal left to raise. The Christmas uh, campaign ends on December 31st, and the last day of the Red Kettle campaign is this coming uh, Christmas Eve. So if you can help them out, that would be appreciated. Uh, the Rotary Making Spirits uh, bright lighted displays at Evergreen Park are also behind their past performance. Last year, the donated food was able to supply the food banks through the following May. Right now, the food pantry collection is at 41,000 pounds, which is down by 9,700 pounds. It's a little over half uh, their total for 80,000 pounds, uh, their food goal for this year. The car count is 13,145 cars, which is also down by about 2,300 cars. And the Making Spirits Bright display is open through New Year's Eve, with the exception of Christmas Eve, every evening from 5 to 9. So as you uh, finish your shopping and celebrate Christmas with family and friends, please remember the needy in our community and do your best to support these local organizations who take care of the, those in need throughout the entire year. Next, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Uh, it'll include items 2.2 through 2.2. Uh, Alderman Drone. Thank you, Mayor Vandersteen. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that we move Ordinance 6.1 up only because we have uh, a person here. Is Miranda Schmidt here? Miranda needs to get back to work. She manages, and she asked if we could do that, and if that works, I would like to make a motion to Is do that. Is there any objection to moving that item forward? <clears throat> there is none, so please proceed. Thank you. Miranda, if you'd like to please come up by the podium. Uh, we did uh, contact Miranda two times, one by mail and one by phone, uh, regarding her license application for bartending for uh, beverage, uh, beverage operators. And first of all, Miranda, what, uh, where are you applying for work or where are you working at? Um, well, my, I work at Blue Harbor as my full-time job in the okay. management position for bartending. It's going to be um, a, a part-time thing at Vreeke's Bar on Michigan Avenue in Chicago. Okay. The reason that we initially called you in, uh, we review some of the uh, applications. If we have questions, that's why we have people come in. And just out of curiosity, you couldn't make the other two meetings. Was that because of work? Or? Well, the first one, I don't know exactly what had gotten mixed up with my mail, but you're, um, I didn't receive the first letter of okay. the November. And then um, the second one was the family. Um, I had my nephew. I wasn't able to come in. So okay. I, I did call. I didn't know that it was that it would have been denied for me not showing up there. I thought it would right. have been rescheduled. So right. for that, okay. I do apologize. The, the questions that we have pertain to some of the convictions here. Um, you have a number of convictions that were listed and some that were not. And we need to always make sure that that's always on the application. Was there a reason that the others weren't? Well, I was just a little confused because when I was my previous times that I had my liquor license, I didn't fill any of that out. It was through my old workplace that kind of filled it all. So when I was there, I asked her, I'm like, what am I filling out? And I thought it was from kind of from when I had my liquor license last to now. And she said if there were any questions that were brought up, she would bring it. Um, but then I did include some of my, like I had, um, my, like my drinking fines from when I was mm -hmm. younger, I had put on there, but I was just mis I, I was just misunderstood. I, it does list that it's a new application, so there was a lapse of time between your last license and this license application, or is this? Yes, I had my li um, my liquor license for I don't know. I renewed it one other time, but um, okay. it was always my job again. Who had? 
Well, I, the one reason I, I wanted to uh, have you come in is just to ask about the charges for the underage alcohol. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a, just a quick detail of what that pertains? Um, it was from, pertains, it was just from years ago. I was. I, it's, your last one was five, soon to be six years ago. Yeah. So were, were you underage yourself at the time? Or yes, was, okay, I was. So this was not a serving environment where you were serving underage? No. Just, okay. No. Okay. We just want to make that very clear. Obviously, we take that very seriously, and it's a big responsibility. So uh, I appreciate you coming in, and that cleared up what I wanted to <coughs> find out, what we as okay. a committee wanted to find out. So I would make a motion to approve. Okay, perfect. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve uh, 5.8. 6.1. 6.1. No, it's actually 5.1. Oh, I'm sorry. 5.8. Okay, so is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? To grant. Yes, to grant the license. Yes. Thirteen eyes. Motion passes. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your time. Just as a quick note, if you could go back to fill your application when you go, uh, just get that updated. We'd appreciate that. So all of the all of your charges are listed. Okay. And, Thank you. and also make sure you do have. Uh, there was a fine that hadn't been paid, and they won't. Even though the license has been granted, it won't be issued until you pay your okay. fine. All right. Thank you very Okay, then we'll go back to the consent agenda. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and file all reports of officers, accept and adopt all reports of committees, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The consent agenda is before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Nice. Motion passes. Under reports of officers, items 3.1 through 3.5 will be referred to various committees. Alderperson Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I just have a question on 3.1. Typically, that those types of things go to the Finance Committee. I'm wondering why it's going to Public Works, and um, it's, it's just a question. Thank you. Uh, I can answer that. It's not a claim. It's okay. claims that typically go to Finance, and this is not a claim. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, that was a, one of my constituents that contacted me, and he had already uh, had some discussions with Public Works regarding the, manner, uh, regarding the matter, but was not really satisfied with what he had heard from Public Works, so that's why I referred it to Public Works, and I realized it wasn't a claim, and that's why I sent it to Public Works. Thank you. Thank you for that information. Then moving on to resolutions, item 4.1 will lie over till our next meeting. Uh, same for item 4.2, that will also lie over. And items uh, 4.3 through 4.8 will be referred to various committees. And moving on to reports of committees, item 5.1 is an RC by Group Health Insurance and Wellness Committee to whom was referred resolution number 154 of 1617, direct referral by Alderperson Donahue authorizing and introducing a points-based wellness program in 2017 for eligible employees and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept, adopt, and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Alderperson Jose. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just have a question about what the, what the points are and how they earn the points and what happens if they successfully earn the points. Um, I'd like to uh, call up uh, Jenny Lawrence to explain that.
The employees will earn the points based on their, all the employees take a biometrics testing every year. This year it will be moved up to June. You can gain an, a thousand points maximum by your biometrics testing, which is basically Intera Health comes in, measures um, Perks finger, measures cholesterol, um, blood pressure, waist circumference, things of that nature, and you can gain a thousand points by that part of it. Um, <clears throat> if they successfully reach 1,100 points, you can also earn points by participating in employees or employer-sponsored activities, um, physical activity, exercise logs, um, a quiz, a monthly quiz on Intera's site. Uh, if you gain 1,100 points, then you will be paying the lowest portion of the employee premiums, which next year will be 8.1%. If you only participate in that biometrics testing and you don't get your 1,100 points, you'll pay a maximum of 20% of the employee premium, or the whole premium, sorry. No. Okay. Yeah. So if you, if you earn the points, you, you get a... Use your microphone, please. So if you successfully earn the points, you would have a reduction in your health care premium by almost 12%, is that correct? Correct. Any other questions? Thank you very much, Jenny. All those in favor, well, would the clerk please call the roll for passage. Twelve eyes, one no. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is an RC by Group Health Insurance and Wellness Committee to whom is referred resolution number 155 of 1617, direct referral by Alderperson Donahue, adopting the 2017 City of Sheboygan Fitness Center reimbursement program for eligible employees and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and adopt uh, the resolution and put upon its passage. Second. Thank you for your motion and support. Uh, it's on the floor for discussion. Alder Person Born. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, seeing that we were just talking about points a few minutes ago, would this, uh, an employee participating in the health club reimbursement, would that qualify for some points at the end of the year? Jenny, can you describe that, please? Please. <laughs> Should be getting used to this trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, the employees, if they participate in the fitness center reimbursement program and also complete an exercise log, they would then also receive points back to the um, <clears throat> points based wellness program as well. There's a maximum of five points per week. And the fitness center reimbursement program requires a minimum participation of eight visits per month to an approved fitness center within Sheboygan or wherever they live, actually. Fair there, Jenny, if you want. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions on this one? Thank you again, Jenny. The clerk, please call the roll for passage. Twelve ayes, one no. Motion passes. Items five, item 5.3 5 is an RC by Public Works to whom referred resolution number 130 of 1617 by Alderperson Bellinger authorizing the Superintendent of Parks and Forestry to oversee the recreational fires on the beaches program and recommends that the attached substitute resolution be passed. Alderperson Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and adopt and pass a substitute resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Thirteen ayes. Motion passes. 
Item 5.4 is an RC by Committee of the Whole to whom was referred resolution number 144 of 1617 by Alderperson Donahue adopting the City of Sheboygan's 2017 to 21 strategic plan and recommends the resolution be passed. Alderperson Heideman. Thank you, Mayor. I'm, I make a motion to, to put the, the resolution upon the accept and pass resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Twelve eyes, one no. Motion passes. Item 5.5 is an RC by Finance, who is referred resolution number 146 of 1617 by Alderperson Wolf, determining a maximum bid on the property auction for 606 North 9th Street, and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and adopt and pass resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion. Alderperson Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. Um, originally, I submitted the dollar amount on, on this resolution, and um, I've come to the um, realization uh, through the development department that um, that bid will likely be inadequate and that the um, appraised value or the estimated value of the property is significantly greater than that. So I would like to amend the dollar amount on this resolution to 250000 Second. Thank you for that um, amendment and support. Uh, first, we're going to discuss the amendment and vote on it. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 250000 did you say, Alderman Ballinger? Yes. Twelve ayes, one no. The amendment passes. Um, then we'd be voting on the uh, main motion as amended. <clears throat> Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for the item 5.5. Twelve ayes, one no. Motion passes. Item 5.6 is an RC by Public Works to whom is referred resolution number 148 of 1617 by Alderperson Bellinger authorizing entering into a professional engineering services agreement for the high strength waste receiving co-digestion evaluation and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderperson Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and adopt and pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <clears throat> 13 eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.7 is an RC by salary and grievances to whom is referred resolution number 151 of 1617 by Alderperson Donahue establishing the monthly premium equivalent rates for the city's medical benefit plan for the calendar year 2017 coverage and recommends that the attached substitute resolution be passed. Alderperson Donahue. 
Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Thirteen eyes. Motion passes. Under ordinances, items 6.1 through 6.3 will be referred to various committees. And next is other matters. City Attorney. 7.1 is a resolution by Alderperson Wolf approving the amended and restated, restated contract for the sale of land for private development by and between the City of Sheboygan and 8th New Jersey LLC. That would be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. 7.1 should go to finance. Sorry, finance. 7.2 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2017, June 30, 2017, and June 30, 2018. And that'll go to line licensing. Alder person Donahue? I move to adjourn. There is a second. second. We have a second. Third. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time and Merry Christmas.